ट्रू फोर के नेटिव फोर के फोर के अप स्केल फोर के शेप फोर के प्रो यू एच डी फोर के एनहेंसमेंट माई गॉड सो मेनी फोर के कम ऑन वी ऑल ग्रू अप अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट फोर के इज जस्ट वन टेक्नोलॉजी वेर इन यू इधर गेट थ्री एट फोर जीरो बाई ट्वेंटी वन सिक्सटी पिक्सल्स ऑन द स्क्रीन और एल्स इफ इट्स अ सिनेमा स्कोप यू गेट फोर जीरो नाइन सिक्स बाई टू वन सिक्स जीरो पिक्सल ना इफ दैट इज सो ईजी टू अंडरस्टैंड देन वाई आर सो मेनी नॉमिन क्लेचर्स लाइक फोर के प्रो यू एच डी फोर के एनहेंसमेंट फोर के अप स्केल नेटिव फोर के ट्रू फोर के एंड वॉट नॉट कन्फ्यूजिंग ऑल ऑफ एस नाउ टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट आई तन्मय मेहता योर होम सिनेमा कंसल्टेंट और होम थिएटर वाले भैया इज गोइंग टू क्लियर लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स फॉर यू इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो सो मेक श्योर टू वॉच द वीडियो टिल दी एंड बिकॉज इवन एट दी एंड आई एम गोइंग टू हेल्प यू डिजाइन योर कस्टम होम सिनेमा सोल्यूशन बाय हेल्पिंग यू गिव वन फेंटेस्टिक टूल सो मेक श्योर टू वॉच द वीडियो टिल द एंड एंड लेट एस बिगिन Now, first of all, let us understand what is 4K. In case you know Full HD TV, HD TV, well, all these are resolution formats. In this resolution formats, or any display, like even the mobile phone that you are watching this video right now, or a laptop, or a television, or even a projector screen, any display has got vertical lines and has got horizontal lines, and these lines together form a square, like multiple squares. These squares are called as pixels. Now, when you have a full hd resolution then you have 1920 vertical lines and 1080 horizontal lines a multiplication of these pixels together comes somewhere around 3.3 mix 3.3 million pixels similarly when you multiply these lines for instance the 1920 multi vertical lines into 2 and you multiply the horizontal lines into 2 then the value that you get is 3840 by 2160 this value determines somewhere close to 8.3 million pixels Now, when you get 8.3 million pixels, that is what exactly called as 4K resolution in a 16 is to 9 format. And when you get 4096 by 1080p, oh sorry, by 2160 lines, then that format is called as the 4K format in the cinema scope. That is 2.35 to 1 format. Now, if that's clear to you, let us see what are all these terminologies and why are they confusing us. So now, let us understand the primary difference between upscale 4K and native 4K. In an upscale 4K, the chip used is a Full HD chip, or there is a simple mechanism or a programming done inside the product visual display, which can be your TV or a projector, wherein it multiplies the number of pixels to give you the number of pixels required in a 4K. For instance, the chip can be 1920 by 1080. That is a Full HD chip. but by using the pixelation what they are doing is that they are increasing the number of pixels on the screen so that you are able to get the exact number of 8.3 million pixels that a 4k resolution requires now this technology is different for all the brands for instance if you buy a benq projector they call it as the true 4k when you buy an optima projector they call it true 4k using an xpr technology If you buy a JVC projector, they call it as 4K eShift. If you buy Epson projector, they call it 4K Pro USD. Now all these terminologies eventually are all under upscale 4K, wherein their job is to only multiply the number of pixels so that you get the pixels required in a 4K resolution. But in this. you are not missing on the clarity you still get a decent clarity you do get a 4k resolution on the screen but the programming or the processing of the video is not done using a 4k chip now that is exactly my friends the difference between the upscale 4k and a native 4k in a native 4k projector what you get inside is a 4k chip and that is how with that chip without any pixelation pixelization it gives you a 4k resolution on the screen and that's why native 4k projectors are a little expensive rather almost double the double the cost of a upscale 4k projector cause these projectors invest in that 4k chip and that is why their cost goes high in the all other projectors that we saw which uses the fancy terms of 4k what they are doing is that they are using different technologies and eventually they are giving you a 4k resolution on the screen now whether that's good or bad well let us understand that what kind of content do we all consume the content that we all consume today is a mix of full hd and a 4k content 
for, for instance, if you look at Tata Sky or you know the same old set of boxes, the satellite boxes are not fully on Full HD even today. We are in 2023, but all the OTT platforms are in a mix of Full HD as well as 4K. So there are some movies or shows which are available in Full HD and some are there in 4K. So when you have that kind of combination, it works even if you buy upscale 4K projector because eventually you still get a 4K resolution on the screen. But similarly, when you buy an 84K projector, it is ideally more preferable to buy even in you know rooms which are dedicated cinema rooms, wherein movie is the primary source of content that you're going to consume. And most of the movies that we are seeing getting released today are all coming in 4K, HDR, Dolby Vision, all those fancy terms. So native 4K projectors will definitely score more better in those dedicated cinema rooms. But in case you are uh, a little tight on your budget and you want to spend a little less, 4K upscale projector is not a bad choice and that can still give you a fantastic picture compared to a Full HD projector. Now, the 4K upscale is definitely a jump compared to a Full HD. Similarly, a native 4K is definitely a jump compared to a 4K upscale. Now, how and where can you feel this difference? The difference will be felt by your naked eyes only when you see the picture side by side. Believe me, nine years been into this business, I have never ever came across that close to even, you know, look at a picture and then say, okay, this is a native 4K projector or this is a 4K upscale projector. So it's okay until unless you don't see them side by side, you are not going to understand the difference. And in that case, going for a 4K upscale projector can still work for you. The native 4K, the other features like the contrast, brightness can be one of the reasons which will give you a different image. But in terms of the number of pixels, A, we cannot go and calculate the number of 4K pixels. You see the clarity, even on a Full HD projector, we get overwhelmed with that because we are buying projectors for the first time, right? Come on, most of you are buying projectors for the first time. So that image itself gives a little overwhelming experience. So when you buy a Full HD 4K or an upscale 4K, it does not make a difference until unless you have got the money to spend on an 84K projector. So if this video helped you understand more better about the 4K terminologies and the native 4K resolution, then don't forget to hit the like button so that YouTube can recommend this video to more such people who are confused just like you. And as promised at the start of the video, in case you want to design a custom home cinema solution, I am sharing a link above as well as in the description. Do check that out so that my team and me can help you create some of the best home theater systems in the country. And with that, I, Tanmay Mehta, your home cinema consultant or home theater wale will see you again in the next one. Thank you.